everybody, it's phonics time again. Okay, so yesterday we learnt to read our new sound, our new ow sound. Today we're going to have a go at writing our ow sound. But first, let's go through the alphabet song if you want to, and then we will do our flashcards. So pause it if you want to say your alphabet song, but if you don't want to, let's get on with our flashcards. Are you ready? I think I stink. Uh. Look at a book. Uh. Jelly on a plate. Uh. Poo at the zoo. Oh, goat in a boat. E. What can you see? Queen. K. K. Ing. Thing on a string. A snail in the rain. Thank you. Ch, ch. Sh, sh. Ah. Start the car or remember that one toot the horn Muffin the puffin Sss. Cut the grass. Remember that trigraph, I fly high, uh, nurse with a purse, oi, spoil the boy, and our new one, Ow. Remember we are saying this one as ow because we say brown cow like this one. So in these words it doesn't say o, oh, it says ow, brown cow. I'll say the words, you say it after me. Howl, down, town. Crowd, drown, gown. Well done. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different today. As it says, look at this picture and play I spy with my little eye. Something beginning with or having the sound in it. Ow. How many can you find? It says there are seven. Okay, so it might not always start with ow. It might have ow in it. Okay, so looking at it all. Can you see one of those special animals that's special to our school? Our Standards Barn Owl. Can you hear that word? Owl. Can you point to the owl on your screen? That's right, it's right in the middle. Well done. Okay, now I wonder what that picture is in the background. Where are they? Are they at the seaside? No, they are in the 
town. Town. Did you hear that ow sound? Town. In the town. Okay. Now, I'm not going to tell you any more, but you can pause the video and see if you can get all seven. You could even have a go at writing a list of them. That would be amazing. Try and write them all down. Be really brave to use your sounds and send me a picture on tapestry. That would be fantastic. Okay, let's move on. Now, using our phoneme frames, what is the first picture of? We just talked about it, didn't we? It wasn't the seaside. It is the town. So what's that first sound? T town. Robot talk? T -t. Well done. So remember, use your phoneme frame afterwards to have a practice. T remember kinetic letters, making sure it starts at the top and goes all the way to the bottom. Now, t ow. Ow. Now that's this week's digraph, isn't it? So they go in the one box. Ow. T ow. Mm, well done. T ow. So it's at Safe Monkey's branch. Down, bump, back up, push over, down, bump, flick. Remember, we always use our kinetic letters whenever we can in our writing. Okay, so that is a picture of the town. Now, what about the next one? Could it be arrow? 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 No. Where is it pointing? Down. Like we always say to you in your kinetic letters, we go down, bump. So that arrow is going down. So the first sound in down is D. Well done. Now remember that's in the abracadabra family, isn't it? We start with our K to do the D. So we go pull around, along the ground, up like a helicopter, down, bump, flick. D. Down. Ow. Ow. Good. Making sure it's sitting on the line. D -own. Oh, the same as town. You're right. Down. Make sure you read it to make sure it's right. D -own. Good. Down. Well done using your phoneme frames. Now the last one, ready for that super sentence? Do your rhyme with me. We go capital letter, finger space, kinetic letters, full stop. Now we saw this picture yesterday and we talked about where the owl is. Now the owl is high up in the tree. So how many words in that? The owl is high up in the tree. Oh my goodness me. Look how many words we've got to write. I think you're getting very clever. You can do a super sentence with eight words in it, okay? If you don't hear all of the sounds, just try your best to make sure that you've got at least the first sounds. Okay, so the first word is V. And what does it need to start with? A capital letter. Well done. V. Now one of our tricky words, isn't it? So we know how to write that one because we can't sound it out very well. The owl. What does it start with? Owl. Today's digraph. Owl. So remember that finger space? 
Owl. Let the board catch up with me. There we go. Owl. The owl is 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 the owl is high high oh down bump back up push over down bump flick oh i yes it's that trigraph that we learned isn't it oh it's quite tricky be brave and have a go Yes, it's that trigraph, isn't it? The I sound. The owl is high up. Sound that one out. Very easy. Up. In. The. We've already done that. But remember, it doesn't need a capital letter this time. In the tree. Tree. It's not a ch sound, it's t tree. And what does it finish with? A full stop. So I would like you to go away and try doing that sentence on your own. Take a photograph of it and send it to Man Tapestry so I can see how brave you've been of sounding it out yourself and if you can write the owl sound. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Bye.